This is what you see when you open Outlook 2013. You have a folder list with an inbox, a list of messages, a reading pane, navigation and taskbar, and the commands on the ribbon. All the basic parts of Outlook are about the same as they were before. The commands are just organized differently to help you work faster. For example, the commands you use most often are right where you're working. If I'm looking through my messages, I can click here to change the completion status, or here to delete a message, or click here to mark a message as unread. At the top of the list, you can filter and search items. Click here to view only unread mail. And of course, there are all the common mouse actions, like dragging to move something, double clicking to open something, and right clicking to find options related to the object you're pointing to. And if you really want to work fast, you can use most of your favorite keyboard shortcuts, like Control N to open a new item. There are some new mouse actions too, like hovering over an appointment to view a peak with more information. And when you're editing text, you can point to a selection, and the mini toolbar appears for doing quick formatting tasks like changing the font size. But what if you can't find a way to do something down here? Well, you'll probably find it on the ribbon. We'll look at that in more detail in the next video. Now, if you can't find a command in the workspace or a ribbon, you'll find it in the backstage. This is where you'll find the commands and options you only need to get to once in a while, like account settings, options for managing rules and alerts, and running mailbox cleanup. So that's a first look at Outlook 2013. Up next, let's take a closer look at the ribbon.